bar risers. I'm gonna install these right now. I'm gonna record it. Hopefully somebody will be able to use this video to uh, do their bar risers. Now we gotta take off those and replace it with that. Those are on there really good. As they should be. Cause that thing is holding your damn steering wheel on. So those better be on good. <clears throat> they have some really Really good Loctite on there. Some kind of factory Loctite. Looks like this comes with that same type of Loctite. That's good. Pretty straightforward process. And then I'm gonna bolt those into there. Just kinda repeat the process backwards. This steering wheel is gonna be pretty high now. And this part would be here for, um, those two holes are for a steering dampener that you can get. This bike already has a steering dampener. They sell, I guess, something that's a little more fancy where you can adjust it a little more to your liking but this steering damper is just fine for me the one that comes with the bike put a anti-glare um, film on the screen there yesterday kind of makes it look fuzzy but it'll protect it from scratching and it's anti-glare so that's all right. Don't overdo it. I don't use torque wrenches because uh, the cheap ones will not work and the expensive ones, I don't have time for all that. Um, I've turned enough bolts to have a feeling for them. You gotta understand this is aluminum. You can't really put too much pressure on it. You gotta put enough for it to be on there really good. This is your steering here. And it does have that Loctite material in there, so it's not going to vibrate out, but don't overdo it. You know, it's got to be snug, but don't, don't strip them. numbers here so I'm gonna line those numbers up that's the numbers at the bottom numbers here so I'm gonna go ahead and line those up and I got better access to my controls here for the shock that's gonna be much more comfortable to switch from softer to harder I'm standing up with my legs straight and I got I got plenty of control here. Clutch and the brake. Plenty, plenty of control. Ooh, tonight's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get to go practice. Um, guys about this bag. This is a Lee Parks design bag. This is the last one. They made a few hundred, he sold them, and then they didn't make them anymore. This uh, same gentleman, he's a famous racer, motorcycle racer. He makes the gloves. He does sell those awesome gloves from Elk. 
but this bag it's um, no longer being sold which is a shame this is a pretty cool bag you can actually expand out on both sides you can expand it out more like that I got my tools and stuff zip ties wrenches rope fix a flat I still need to order some CO2 CO2 tanks little CO2 tanks to fill the tires and uh, that'll be good and you got so much room in here it even has a couch for your laptop right there and uh, the way I you know got it secure on there is I got the uh, this basic metal plate here bolted it on top and I just use simple zip ties. This bag has little ropes here at the bottom. I just use a whole bunch of zip ties all the way around. This thing is holding it really good. But I also will use these. So you got the zip ties initially just kind of holding it in place. And then you use these things. To... Uh, lock it into place. And that's going from the frame of the bike to the to this metal frame here. I'm gonna cut those a little more but this bag is not going nowhere with especially with those. <clears throat> so between these two I got plenty of storage. I don't need to get those metal side cases because when you fall with those metal side cases you'll break a leg um, this is basically all I need I was thinking maybe of getting that the half circle bag that they have it's called the giant loop great basin or something like that it's kind of a half circle that goes on here and you got a lot more storage so this is plenty for me but um, I could get that also to go on longer trips pack more stuff and it just kind of goes here in the back so that's that we got that installed I've done a lot of work on this bike <laughs> in the few weeks that I've had it the one finger clutch these the mid pipe the bags now that on the other side I have the trans saver and uh, yeah these <laughs> this is a kind of a sickness it becomes a sickness because you gotta you gotta customize your bike to your liking and it's just non-stop you keep finding other little things hopefully I'm coming to an end here but I don't think yet because I want to get the, uh, the LED lights for right here and the other side. And uh, I think after that, that's going to be about it. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe spools here because uh, I have the rear spools on, but there's no room to put the front spools on. You got to get the special ones that kind of go inside there. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'm not the type of person to tell you guys to subscribe <laughs> or like. Um, that's not that's not my style. <laughs> Everyone's free to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> so you can unsubscribe, you can dislike, whatever. You know, I don't care. This is just uh, hopefully. You know, if somebody wants, doesn't want to pay too much to the dealer to do this, this is a simple job. You basically unbolt it and bolt it back in. But you should use a torque wrench. Don't do it like I do it. I've turned a lot of nuts and bolts in my day. So I kind of have a feeling for them.